morning, and today we're going to be playing a little bit of Eco in uh, Mr. Isaac's game design class here. And we're going to start a new game and kind of go through the tutorial a little bit. It's going to generate a new world. We'll call this um, Game Design Whams. We're going to make it, in theory, so some people could join the game. We'll see what happens with that. Um, and we're going to start this up. And Eco is... Uh, a game that you'll see, obviously, some similarities to games like Minecraft and stuff with um, mining, crafting, and all that. But Eco really focuses on the importance of managing an ecosystem. And the premise or storyline, I believe, I don't know if it's always the same, but is that there's a meteor attacking the Earth, and we have to advance our technology to the point with real resources and such that we could protect against it. And I believe we'll see shortly that we have about 30 days in real time to do that, um, and we'll see how that goes for us. And it's generating the world. There I am. I'm going to create my character. Not a big fan of the purple pants, so we'll change those, I think. Where are my pants? Um, clothing. Pants. Let's change to... Those are a little nicer. Let's see the shirt. Could definitely use a slightly different color shirt. Still not crazy about the pants. Uh, uh, that'll do, I guess, but maybe then we need a little bit of a lighter shirt. Let's see here. Nope, nope, nope. There, nope. All right, perfect, right? Now, what should we do with our hair? And maybe we should change the belt a little bit. And we'll stay with the purple shoes, why not? And let's see here. We'll go back to our hair color oops or not there we go and yeah and what else did I want to do I think that'll do for now oh facial hair we like a little that guy's looking cool all right so we're gonna start now it's gonna start us with a tutorial uh, the way we're doing and we're gonna go through that a little the game's very similar in movement to a lot of games you've played but there are some differences, and one big one that you'll notice is in order to get the cursor back to control things, you hit tab, and that's one that I always, I'm used to hitting escape, so that's one to get used to. Tab brings me back to the world and kind of out of the world, okay? We're all used to the W, A, S, and D now, I think, and space bar to jump, right? So that's all good, and we just completed our task of learning to move around. I'm very excited about that. Now it gets a little more exciting here, and we are going to check out, like I mentioned, I think a little bit about the story. So brace yourself and look up. While the world lives on peacefully, its destruction orbits overhead, a meteor strictly spiraling closer. Together with your fellow citizens, you'll need to advance civilization to a level of technology capable of stopping it using the ecosystem's resources. Find the meteor in the sky. So one of our quests right now is to find the meteor, which might not be directly overhead right now, so we might have to wait and try a couple other times later to see if it's above us, but there's the sun. So we're going to come back to that one. We are going to go to this world view to kind of check this out. Um, so we're going to need to know a bit about the, the world and the world view. So open the map. Here's where we would open the map, I believe. Nope, wait. Okay, there's the map. Find um, an icon on the map and mouse over it for details. Okay, now this part confused me before. I think what I need to do is drop a waypoint first. And now open the side panel. Okay, let's try that. The side panel is actually open. Um, and select different world layers to view. Okay, so we can change these, or let's see, the layers. We could, maybe we want to see the air pollution and stuff. Um, you can see the marker in the world. Click on the arrow to bring up the options or remove it. So here's the marker. There's an arrow. Actually, what I think I have to do, this kind of confused me before too, is I think I have to, yeah, I forget how I did this before. You can see the marker in the world. Click the arrow to bring up options or remove it. Okay. And I don't know why this confused me before as well. Let's see, where's that marker? Uh-oh, did we lose it? There it is. Click the arrow. 
and I think I need to kind of see it. It's funny, I did this before and also was confused. Hmm. Oh, actually, you know what it is? I know what we gotta do. Here we go, ready? When we're in the world here, that's the marker, okay? So I can name this like starting point and I can copy that to clipboard so we have it for later if we need. And there we have it, okay? Now, um, we are gonna claim a property, right? So I'm gonna hit tab again and go to this, claim property. Um, so now we've gotta open our backpack with B and these are markers for claiming territory. I'm gonna bring that into my inventory or my, I guess my hot bar. And we are going to um, select them with the one and we're gonna place where we wanna have our house. This is a good place for a house, right? So I'm gonna put it, let's say here and here, we'll claim these two spots. Um, a deed will appear in your inventory, that's here. This is our deed. Okay, so we now claim this land. Later we can do things like let other people build with us and stuff. And we're gonna right click on it to access the rights. So these are all the rights. Okay, if there were more people in the game, I could authorize people to use it, to work on the land with us. So I'm gonna close some of these now. Remember each time it's tab to get control of the cursor again. And if it'll work, why is that not closing? Come on. Okay, so now again, these are some other things I can do now, right? So we can chop down a tree. It's gonna remind us again of other games we might know. Okay, so I'm gonna go around. Let's see, I see a tree up there. Hopefully I could get up there. Whoa, let's see. All right, here. There we go, ish. Can't get up there. I need some parkour skills here in Hiko. Go the other way, they say. How about this? That looks like I should be able to do it. All right, hold on, hold on. There, there, there. Whew. The stress. Now, can we make it up here? Look, we got veg fruits and stuff. All right, I see a tree. So we're going to, and a lot of you, this is a great game for those of you who want to review a game for the, there's that Games for Ed quest. This is a great one because it both plays like a real kind of commercial game, but yet, it does definitely have implications, you know, and, and intent for education. So you can review it for that. And I'm chopping wood. More realistic? Well, now let's take some of the wood, if we can. All right, pick up the wood pieces with E. Whoop. Oh, look, I got some wood. Okay, I got wood, I got wood, I got wood. All right, now that's great. So we did that one. Now we're gonna go to process the raw logs. This is kind of like where we start crafting. So the number five, I'm going to put a workbench somewhere. So I'll put it right here for now. Okay, and we have to now open the workbench. And this is where we can process the logs. So let's say we um, order logs to be processed. And then I think what I realized, you'll see this in a second, is it gets a little quirky with the inventory. So I want to collect that, but it's going to tell me not enough room in my inventory. I think if I move up, uh, I forget what I had to do. If I, let's see, if I place these logs out here for a second, let's just say I place logs. So here, now I have my nice stack of logs. I can build a fire, I can build all sorts of stuff. Now, because I have room in my inventory, I should be able to now take that processed wood, which I did, okay? And now if I go over here, I can place this processed wood there and I could go and continue this. Maybe what I wanna do is let's say we do three, four, let's try to do four of these at one time, okay? So I'm gonna put the logs on here. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, see if that works. Now in theory, that should process all. If you notice, I'm not even carrying any anymore. So it's gonna give us all that wood in a second. Now, I don't know how close the meteor is yet, but uh, it's actually probably about, what did I say before it was 30 days? So now it's about 29 days, uh, 23 hours and 50 minutes away still. So with my mad wood collecting skills, we should be okay. So it's still going, what's happening here? I'll collect that. I guess, it, oh, that's interesting. 
Missing four woods. Okay, I don't know why. I thought I gave it enough wood there. But we're okay. We'll place this with our other wood here. Oh, look at that. We got a nice stockpile starting to form. So you get the idea. And for those of you who are going to end up playing this, I'll have you play it through for a while, review the game. I think we'll run this one for the full 30 days, so to speak, and see how we make out. Uh, one of the other cool things, or a lot of, there are a lot of cool things about this game. One is that as you're playing multiplayer, let's say you start hunting for things and resources get scarce. You can create a law that people vote on that might say like, hey, we think you should only be allowed to hunt one elk per week to make sure we conserve the species. And then that becomes part of the game. So that's certainly very cool. So we'll stop there for now and we'll let people play this as we go and we'll get more video footage and stuff while we move along in the